Time to kick it with Mr. Kitty Crumpton this morning. Hi guys, good morning. Good morning. It's a beautiful morning, a picturesque morning here <laughs> at the Holden Arboretum. But well, for you, Tom, it's like, Kenny, how do you think everything gets so green? How do you think it, you have That's to right. have brain to make stuff look good? And we're happy because there's no snow on the ground. Last Absolutely. time we talked about spring, there was snow on the ground. All right, so a little rain is cool. Now, uh, we popped right over. And I'm using pop. You see what I did there? Yep, pop. absolutely. Over to this uh, magnolia tree. Beautiful. Um, magnolia is a very popular tree, isn't it? Absolutely. Uh, this is one of our yellow magnolias, but mm -hmm. we also have white magnolias and magenta magnolias and pink magnolias. And now is the time to come see them. Okay, so you were explaining this. This is like a hybrid of a couple of different That's magnolias. Right. Just to to specifically produce this this hardiness, this color, and the actual smell. These yep. actually Fragrant. smell pretty good. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. Talk about this. This is, the, this is the Elizabeth? This is the Elizabeth Magnolia, okay. and it's actually a hybrid between our North American cucumber magnolia that uh -huh. lives in our forests and a Chinese species. A cucumber magnolia. Yeah. And, and boom. How does that happen? Yeah, so it's actually, you know, they're hand pollinated and different okay. crosses are, are produced. You grow out the trees and see which one you like best. And uh, some of the characteristics of this one, fragrant. Definitely uh, the fragrant. color. The color. Uh, the size, it's consistently 25 to 30 feet, so okay. it doesn't get giant. Right, so it's manageable. And, and cold hardy too. And cold, well, because we need that here. Absolutely. Right? We need that. So uh, do you guys pick a lot of the things here to deal with our, our climate? Absolutely. That is one of the things being in the snow belt. We constantly have to be very careful what we plant yeah. to make sure it can survive winter here. What are some of the horticulturalists doing now? Because this is a little critical time because now things will start to bloom. So yeah, yeah. what's a daily routine? Uh, just making sure their areas look great, cleaning up after winter, making sure any vegetation that died over the winter is, is removed, raking yeah. beds, just making everything crisp. Now let's talk about what's popping. This is a That's really right. cool adventure. I'm going to say a horticultural adventure you guys yep. have here, yep. right? Yeah, absolutely. Every Friday we release a blog. It's popping. It is the overview of what's blooming and what are the showstoppers. So what you need to come to see that week here or the botanical garden. Okay, you update that every Friday. Every so Friday. you guys are like, oh look, this just started to bloom. This just started to yep. bloom. Then they come out and check it out. Yep. Each week is different. Wow. Something of constantly is in bloom right now. This is the best time well, to come see that dynamic nature. This is a beautiful magnolia. I didn't, and then the, the Brooklyn? Uh, the Brooklyn Botanical Garden bred and produced this magnolia. And the only way, as we wrap up, this is cool, the only way to get this magnolia, you have to clone it. That's right. So you basically take a branch off this yep. and then do some really yes. cool cloning stuff. Absolutely. And to make another one of these. Yep. That is so crazy. All right. We're here at the Holden Arboretum in Kirtland, Ohio, hanging out with the man, Tom. When we come back, what are we going to do when we come back? Uh, we're going to explore the Arboretum. We're going to explore the Arboretum. That's why we're here. <laughs> All right. We're going to go back to you guys. Correct. We're not going to clone a magnolia, but we're going to go back to you guys in the studio. <laughs> okay. Thank you.